Now we've seen some pretty pointless top 10 lists recently. But today I'm going to talk about something different. I'm going to talk about something that a lot of us could relate to. I think a lot of us could understand. Let's get into it, okay? I'm going to talk about the five things I hate about driving. Uh, if you could hear the tick tock tick tock, that's the signal light. One thing that pisses me off above all else, doesn't matter if you're a car driver or motorcycle uh, rider, um, people who don't use their signals, people who don't indicate. Now, this is important on so many levels because first of all, it's a matter of safety. Um, it's also a matter of courtesy, letting people know in advance, uh, indicating your intentions of switching lanes or making a turn or parking into a parking spot. It doesn't matter. These are all things that are important. That's one thing that pisses me off. And I think it pisses off a lot of you guys as well. It's not rocket science. That magical stick by the side of your steering wheel or the little switch button on a motorcycle that's what they're there for, right? They're there so you could use your signals. Now I know that there are times when you signal your intention to switch lanes, for example, and some hero in that lane behind you realizes that he's gonna lose out. It's not a race, guys. Um, but he would all of a sudden decide to speed up. And if that's the case, so be it, right? Be gracious, be considerate, let the hero pass. And so just let it be and also one more thing right aside from using your signals please remember to check your blind spots when you turn or when you switch lanes because sometimes even if you signal the other driver or the other motorcyclist may not see it and and that becomes an issue as well now another thing that gets to me when I'm driving are slow drivers now, don't get me wrong there's absolutely nothing wrong with driving slow. If the speed limit is 80, for example, and you decide that it's more comfortable or safer for you to drive at 70, that's absolutely fine. But just stay on the correct lane. Don't be taking up the overtaking lane, for example. If you see a faster car coming up from behind, move aside, let him pass. He might have a death wish. She might have a death wish. It doesn't matter. Don't add yourself to that list. Also, if you're approaching a speed camera on those freeways, uh, if you're on a freeway that's 90 kilometers per hour, for example, you don't need to slow down till 70 or 75. It is entirely okay to drive past the speed camera at the speed limit. If you're uncomfortable, if you're worried that the camera might be very sensitive and you don't want to get booked, then it's fine. Slow down a little bit. You don't have to go way slow. A lot of road users I've seen on the road do seem to slow down so much that it obstructs traffic. Again, that is not good, it's not necessary, and ultimately, it could potentially also be dangerous. The third thing on my list are people who are so addicted to their cell phones. Yes, I know it's the 21st century, we're all addicted to our cell phones. I'm addicted to my cell phone, I'm addicted to social media, I've got a thousand messages from a thousand friends because we are all that famous, right? No, it is not okay to use your cell phone while you're driving and also not okay to use your GPS while you're driving. If you're a Grab driver, taxi driver, Uber driver, a regular driver, a food delivery guy, a delivery truck driver, it really doesn't matter. For safety, plan your route in advance, look at the GPS, set the coordinates and then start driving. That is the safer way. Now the fourth item on my list that I hate about driving are cyclists, e-scooters, e-bikes, and pedestrians. Chill. Before you start cursing and swearing, obviously I'm not referring to those guys who do follow rules and regulations and the law. I am specifically talking about the guys who don't, and there are a lot of people who don't. I have seen so many times on the road, not just on the pavements, but actually on the roads, uh, guys on e-scooters, on bicycles, on e-bikes that flout the law. No lights at night, for example, riding in the middle of the road, uh, going in excessive speeds, especially for the e-scooters and e-bikes, um, and for the pedestrians as well, you know, crossing the street, without looking at the lights, without observing traffic rules, without observing the signs that might be there, may not even be using proper 
options such as a zebra crossing or an overhead bridge. Also guys with headphones or rather girls as, uh, girls as well with headphones listening to music, not being able to hear uh, cars or motorcycles on the road if they honk at them. Now these are your lives. It's not something you could buy, right? If you're not going to take care of your own life when you're on a bicycle, on an e-scooter, or on an e-bike, or if you're just crossing the road, or just walking on a pavement, be aware. Be aware of your surroundings, because it is, after all, like I said, your life that you are trying to protect. We all need to go somewhere, we all need to get somewhere. It doesn't matter what mode of transportation you're using, be cautious, be aware. And also, don't forget, at the same time, you're not just protecting yourself, but potentially the people around you as well. Now the fifth and final thing on my list, the things I hate about driving, doesn't matter which part of the world you're at, traffic jams. Nobody enjoys being stuck in a traffic jam. Congestion happens whether we like it or not, especially if you're living in a big city. It's something we all have to deal with. Sometimes we have to deal with it more than once a day. It's not just during the holidays. It's also when we have to go to work, when we go home from work, traffic congestions. Now, as much as nobody likes them, there is a way to make it more bearable. Now, I'm not going to say you're going to enjoy traffic jams. Nobody would. Nobody could. But there is a way to make it more bearable. And that also ties into the conclusion of this little video. Number one, be gracious and be more considerate to other users, not just to yourself. If somebody wants to cut in, if they signal appropriately, you're not in a rush or you're not about to shit your pants. Just let the guy go, let the guy pass. Sometimes it's better that way. Traffic could be smoother that way if there is that sense of graciousness and that sense of being considerate. Number two is to show courtesy and appreciation. Sometimes a simple wave, as simple as that, right? Put your hand up like this or wind down your window and put your hand out to wave to thank you when it's appropriate to do so. You'll be amazed, you'll be surprised at how such a small and simple gesture could give you so much pleasure, right? You actually feel good about it. And if you're the one letting someone pass and you see the guy in front of you put his hand up and wave a thank you, you would feel fantastic as well. Well, that's it guys. Five things I hate about driving. Uh, you might agree, you may disagree. It's cool. Send me your comments, post up your comments, let me know what you think. Let me know if there are other things that pisses you off as well. Maybe we could have a discussion about that. But yeah, like I said, it's not rocket science. It is not hard for us to enjoy our journey, enjoy driving, enjoy riding. All we need is for everyone to put in a little bit more effort and be safe.